Jersey Dudes did a video at the Performance Center. I was just, I just loved it. Enzo Amore is like tiny. Yes. I mean, he's got to be smaller than me. Oh, yeah. He's skinny. Much skinnier. And so they go to the gym, and the first thing he does is he starts doing cardio. <laughs> Like, well, <laughs> really? there how, was about, a, how about the weights? There was a reason. So the gimmick is, and they did explain this in graphic detail after the uh, uh, match, the Jersey guys pour the hair loss treatment on the dog, and the dog then lost hair. So the dog's owner got mad at the hairdresser, and the hairdresser got fired. Why was the goddamn dog in the hairdresser place? I don't know. But uh, she blames them for getting her fired. And so since since they owe her a favor, she's insisting they train her to be a professional wrestler. That's right. That's awesome. And she thinks that she is can, awesome. She thinks she can just get in the ring. Yeah. But Enzo is like, you look great, but you're not ready for the ring. No, you gotta get in shape. And she was insulted that he told her that she needed to get in shape. Yes. So Enzo jumps in his treadmill. She disappears to get into her workout gear. Cass is telling Enzo he needs to uh be nice to the women if he wants to get anywhere with them and Enzo starts laying down the law about what works for him. And apparently nothing works for him because they both acknowledge he never had a girlfriend. So, uh, what a star. The girl showed back up looking all hot in her, you know, running shorts and stuff. And Enzo tried to play cool, but at the same time, he was also trying to check her out while running on the treadmill. He ended up taking a great bump, a great fall on the treadmill. And, uh, wrestling rings are designed to be fall on. Treadmills aren't falled on. That, that may not be proper. English. Fallen on. Sure. But uh, yeah, he managed to, to, to bump on this treadmill in a, a safe and funny manner. So way to go, Enzo. Let me tell you a true story. I think I told this years ago. I was at a hotel once and I decided that I was going to do cardio. And so they had the treadmill. And so I was running on the treadmill and I decided that I was going to do intervals. And my idea for the intervals was I would get it going really, really, really fast. As fast as it would go. Oh, boy. I would run as fast as I could. And then when I started to get tired, I would leap in the air. And I would put both of my feet on the edge. Sure. There's an edge and then the, the you know, the... The belt's in the middle. The belt is in the middle and then there's the edge. So I would jump in the air and I put my feet on the edge. I'd rest a little while. And then I would jump in the air again, land on the belt and just start sprinting because the belt's going as fast as possible. So I'm sprinting. I jump in the air and I put my feet on the outside. I rest for a while. I jump in the air. As the moment I hit the belt, I start sprinting as fast as I can. Get tired and I jump, land on the uh, edge again. Did this a couple times. But well, I'm getting tired. And so, of course... I leap in the air, I land on the belt, and it sucks me out. I don't have a chance to run. I, it just it takes my feet out from under me. So, unlike Enzo Amore, for whatever reason, because when tragedies happen, we're not thinking, I decided not to let go of the handle. And so... I swear to God, I am holding on to the handle. My body is completely stretched out, and the belt is destroying the skin on my knees. It completely ripped all of the skin off my knees, and by the time the damage had been done, I had no other recourse except to finally let go, which which point, of course, the belt flung me into the back wall. Swear to God, uh, I got up, my knees are just bleeding like crazy, and this is the worst part of the story, actually. I didn't know what to do, and there was nobody else around, and so I thought, I've got to clean my knees, I've got to go get in the hot tub. God is my witness. That's the only thing that I could think to do, because, you know, you it's chlorine and everything like that, it's going to... I presume yes, it is in fact chlorine and everything like that. Yes, so I ran and I jumped into the hot tub, which was did not help matters. Let's just put it that way. Oh, no. and to this day, I mean, you know, because of wrestling, I always shave my legs. But if I let all the hair grow in on my legs, 
I would have no hair on my knees because of this incident with the dead. God is my witness. That's a true story. So I hope you all, all you youngsters listening to this right now, it's a cautionary tale. Do not play that fucking game on the treadmill. All right. I finally understand why you hate water. Oh, for many reasons. That's one of them. That is one of them.